1912 or 13, Neymar was in the business of looking for a detective. And as luck would have it, she found herself in Torquay one day when she came across a bus full of Belgian refugees. Amongst these refugees was a funny little man with an egg-shaped head, a rather strange-shaped moustache, holding his head on one side, looking a bit perplexed. There we are, she said. That would be perfect. And there was born Hercule Poirot. Seven or eight years later, she had written The Mysterious Affair at Styles, starring Hercule Poirot. Like all young authors, she sent the manuscript to lots of publishers, and she received um, no less than six rejections, one of which I have here. We have carefully considered your manuscript, it says, but regret that we do not feel able to make you an offer for its publication. But fortunately, not very long after, she got an acceptance from John Lane, the chief of the Bodley Head Publishers. So the publication of Hercule Poirot was on its way. There followed over 40 novels and many more short stories over the next 30 or 40 years. Two of my favourites are Five Little Pigs, which came out in 1940. It is a supremely uh, um, atmospheric book in which Hercule Poirot gets quite angry when he finally finds the killer, but it is a brilliant plot. And then there, of course, there is Murder on the Orient Express, not only one of my favourites, but many other people's as well. Uh, that is original, of course, because of the solution at the end, which involves morality as to whether Hercule Poirot shall let the killers off or not. Again, at the time, a very original plot. By this time, in the 1940s, Neymar was getting a bit sick of Hercule Poirot. She's written a lot of books, and he was, to be quite frank, becoming quite an irritating little man. And so, in the late 1940s, she decided to kill him off. So she wrote the book, but was persuaded by her family, and most significantly by publishers and agents, that this was a ridiculous thing to do. So she put the book in a box, put the box in a safe, and went on writing Poirot's. And it wasn't published, actually, until after she died in 1976. It was called Curtain, and such was the interest and drama of this book appearing with him dying at the end that Hercule Poirot achieved a unique literary distinction. He had an obituary in the New York Times. <laughs> 